Pavel, the fastest growing sport in the world. Thinking how to become a more complete, technical, tactical and effective player. You're at the right place. This is Daniel Dios and we are Pavel Trainer. On today's video, we will have a look to the technique for the forehand lob. A very effective shot to be played when your opponents are at the net. The objective of the lob will not be only to move your opponents back, but also to create a space between the players and the net, allowing you to drop the ball down to their feet. cross cut lob will always offer more margin for error due to the length of the diagonal. Down the line lobs will be effective when playing with precision. The secret for the lob is to place the racket below the ball level. A good knee bend then is going to be essential in order to achieve it. Once we get under the ball, we will start lifting our hitting hand on the way up as we push with our legs. Don't forget that 80% of the power comes from the legs. Our body will need to stay sideways as we will have a better balance when executing the shot. The angle of the racket will control the height and depth of the lob. Defensive lobs will require a fully open racket, allowing you to find enough time to position yourself on court. Aggressive lobs will be played with a semi-open racket in order to reduce your opponent's reaction time. If we stay above the ball level, we will start flicking the wrist, losing control on the speed of the ball, overheating it and reaching the back wall straight away. Remember then, start below the ball level with an open racket. Knees low will help big time. Then start swinging your racket up, keeping your non-hitting hand in front for balance purposes, holding the follow through nice and high. Time is one thing you definitely want when playing the perfect lob. That's why we recommend you using the back wall. It will offer you a better momentum as the ball is coming from back to front. We will then rotate back our body into a sideways position, rotating our shoulders until we are facing the back wall, to then follow through the ball with our racket nice and gently. The key point is to keep a continuous footwork to position ourselves behind and below the ball. A very common mistake is to wait for the ball to bounce back to our waiting position, turning into a low shot impossible to defend. Your left hand will always be pointing for the ball with its elbow totally extended. This will assure a good space between the body and the contact point, which happens in front of your body. Wrist needs to stay locked at all times in order to feel the ball. A good example is to imagine that we are carrying the ball in a racket to then release it when reaching the shoulder level. The smoother you are in the action, the better. Thanks for following us. We hope you enjoy the video.